ओके सो डेरिवेशन फॉर दैट कंसीडर कंसीडर अ कॉलम कॉलम ऑफ ए बी कंसीडर कॉलम ए बी ऑफ लेंथ एल ऑफ लेंथ एल ऑफ लेंथ एल हिंजड हिंजड एट ए एंड बी हिंजड एट ए एंड बी ओके हिंजड एट ए एंड बी क्रिटिकल लोड क्रिटिकल लोड अप्लाइड अप्लाइड एट एट बी एट बी ओके एट बी ड्यू टू क्रिटिकल लोड ड्यू टू क्रिटिकल लोड क्रिटिकल लोड कॉलम विल बी डिफ्लेक्ट कॉलम विल बी डिफ्लेक्ट डिफ्लेक्ट एशन इन फिगर एशन इन फिगर एशन इन फिगर ओके एशन इन फिगर ओके सो कॉलम विल बी डिफ्लेक्ट इन दैट वे दैट इज ए एक्स एक्स वन एंड बी दिस इज डिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ द कॉलम ड्यू टू क्रिटिकल लोडिंग ओके so p it is critical load on column critical load on column critical load on column and why it is deflect deflection deflection due to critical load due to critical load critical load okay so now consider consider section 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 x at a distance 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 x from x from a at a distance x from a okay so now moment at x moment at section x moment at section x moment at section x okay here it will be moment it will be take this one it is moment here okay this one it is x so m is equal to m is equal to it is p into y okay here it will be take moment here So here we will be take moment. So p into y. It will be rotating anti-clockwise direction about this point. Okay. So this is an it is x one point. Okay. P into force into perpendicular distance. So force it is p and perpendicular distance it is y. It is rotated about the x dash. It will be anti-clockwise direction. So minus it will be minus p into y. P into y. Okay. So moment it is minus p into y. So as per the Maxwell's equation. So it is E I E I into d two y by d x square d two y d two y d two y divided by d x square two y d two y divided by d x square d two y by d x square d x square d x square is equal to m is equal to m is equal to m. Okay. So now put here. So e i e i d two y d two d two y d two y divided by d x square divided by d x square d x square d x square so m it is minus p into y m it is minus minus p into y okay 
So just simplify this equation. So EI, EI, D2I by DX square, D2Y, D2Y divided by DX square, DX square plus plus take this one it is left side p into y is equal to this one zero okay so divide e i throughout the equation divide e i throughout the equation throughout the equation equation throughout the equation for the equation. So now so we get d2y by dx square d2y d2y divided by dx square divided by dx square dx square dx square plus plus P by E I into Y. P by E I. P by E I into Y. To Y is equal to zero. So this is general equation of differential. This is, this is, general differential equation differential equation differential equation so general differential equation equation this is general differential equation this is this is solution of solution of general this is solution of general of differential equation is 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 write down is is y is equal to y is equal to y is equal to a a cos a cos a bracket bracket x x x root of p by a x root of p by a 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 p by a bracket close plus plus b sine of sine of in bracket x x x root of p by a root of p by a root of p by a root of p by e i root of p by a A yeah. root of p by a bracket close. Okay, so this is solution of general of differential equation is okay. So this is general equation. So differential equation for that. So this is solution of the general of differential equation. It is a cos x root of p by a plus b sine x root of p by a. Okay, now. Apply the boundary condition, end conditions, end conditions, end condition. When x is equal to zero, when x is equal to zero, so y is equal to zero. 
y is equal to zero. Okay, y is equal to zero. So this one it is equation number one. Put in equation one. Put in equation one. Put in equation one. Equation one. Okay. Put in equation one. Okay. So when y is equal to zero, x is equal to zero. So zero is equal to so a a a. So x is equal to zero. This term it will be get zero. Okay. So cos zero it will be one. Okay. Then plus b b sine zero it will be zero. Sine zero it will be zero. It will be a is equal to it will be get a is equal to zero. A is equal to zero. Okay. A is equal to zero. So put this in equation one. Put a is equal to zero in equation one. Put a is equal to zero. In equation one, in equation one, in equation one. Okay, if you put x is equal to zero in equation one, so it will be get y is equal to. So this term it will be get zero. So it will be b sine of b sine of n bracket n bracket n bracket x. X root of x root of p by e x root of p by e p by e x root of p by e p by e back close okay so now here. Second boundary condition apply. In condition. In condition. Second. In condition. When x is equal to l. When x is equal to l. When x is equal to l. Then y is equal to it is also zero. When y is equal to it is zero. Okay. So put this value in equation number two. So this one write down equation number two. So put in equation two. So put in equation two. So put equation two. Put in equation two. Okay. Put in equation number two. So write down now. So y it is zero. Y it is zero. Y it is zero. Is equal to b b sine of b sine of sine of x is equal to t c l x is equal to l so that is l l into l into root of root of p by a root of p by a root of P by A, root of P by P I, root of P by A, P by P I, bracket close, bracket close. Okay. So here, if we get B is equal to zero, B is equal to zero, or, or. Or, or sine, sine, in bracket sine, 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 l into l into root of p by a, l into root of p by a, root of p by a, root of p by a. Top P by E, P by E, okay. Top P by E, okay. Is equal to zero. Is equal to zero, okay. Is equal to zero. So we consider this one, okay. Consider this one because deflection should be there because of critical load, okay. If you consider B is equal to zero, then whole term it will be get zero. Means there is will be some deflection. 
in this column. So that's why we consider this sign L root of P by A is equal to zero. Okay. So now write down. So L by P I L into root 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 of root of P by E I P by E I P by E I P by E I is equal to is equal to sine inverse sine inverse zero sine inverse zero okay so sine inverse zero it will be when it will be sine inverse zero for sine for sine ninety it will be for sine one eighty it will be zero for sine one eighty it will be zero so sine one eighty sine inverse one eighty it will be five L okay so this one it is L into L into root of root of P by A P by E I P by E I P by E I is equal to is equal to so this one it will start from if sign in was zero it will be zero it start from zero comma pi comma pi that is means 180 degree pi comma comma then next it will be 2 pi so sine 360 it will be also zero it will be 2 pi okay it will be take pi value okay pi value okay the so least value from pi to pi so zero you can't consider because there will be some critical load acted on that column okay so that's why we take l into l into root of root of root of root of p divided by a p divided by p i p divided by e i p divided by e i is equal to consider it is pi consider it is pi consider it is pi squaring on both sides 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 it will be get l square l square l square into p divided by a p divided by a p divided by e i p divided by e i is equal to pi square is equal to pi square is equal to pi square pi square okay. so p is equal to p is equal to now p is equal to pi square pi square pi square pi pi divided by l square divided by l square divided by in bracket l square divided by l square okay you can see it will be equal to ln square okay l is so this is your final equation okay this is your final equation p is equal to pi square e i by l is okay so this is your final equation the crippling column with, when column with both entities changed so p is equal to this pi square e i by l is square okay